uh, sound effects for the day to go with the um, actual portion of the workshop. And um, Soul Train, you know, always started like this, you know. You guys really know it's like Soul Train. We have the incredible writers retreat with your host, D. Lance. And we're going to scramble some words today, and we're going to do it in the most incredible fashion possible. That's the sound effect for the nostalgia soul train. And I wanted to start with the, the three aspects and three phases of the workshop, which is going to be the unscrambling of the words, the deciphering of words, and the rescrambling of words. The unscrambling of, of, of words, whereas we take a word apart and, and check the syllables of the words and see what it can mean and see what you could get from it and see what exactly the word entails in its everyday meaning and what it could mean. Now, um, on the board I have uh, before us is a phrase that says, the pen is mightier than the sword. Um, and that's a phrase that I've heard throughout my lifetime, especially like throughout school and just like people have said it many times before. Uh, in, the, in the Bible, there are scriptures that say in the beginning was the word, you know, it's like um, word and, words and thoughts were some of the first things that actually caused creation to become possible. That you would do to this day and money wasn't an object of, of being, of, 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 of payment for doing that gift. So um, we're going to write those three things down and then what I'm going to have each one of us do is take something, the one word of, of the thing that you would do, and intentionally scramble it, and we're going to try to decipher what is your gift and the genius of your uh, uh, child genius. And it, and, and it doesn't have to be, uh, I wrote, it, it could be whatever you just naturally um which is good at or you just naturally had an affinity for us because we get so far away from that aspect of the boundless genius with just the systematic way of life. We're just so active and our plates are so full. When the last time have you ever had a, a time to sit down and decipher those memories to bring them back? Because sometimes those are key components to put you in a place of um, clarity about where you need to be next in your life. Sometimes it's still there in your child-like self that you left, um, you, you left behind in certain aspects like life, the system, making a living, paying for college education, paying for your own, trying to see what the next step is to make more money so that you can survive in, in, in the increasingly inflated uh, society that basically centers most things um, around just being... Um, in an aspect of hustling and grinding. So when you are intact in your genius, time stops. It is, it is, it is, you're in a boundless place. You create out of love, you're in your love space. You do something that you are not heavy at all about. It's light, it'll keep you up all night. It'll keep you waking up early. It'll keep you going to bed late. It will keep you building upon it. And we're gonna take like maybe five minutes to put uh, three to five things down, and I'm gonna clear this board, and I'm gonna call everyone up um, to decipher what it is that you were a genius at, and we're gonna try to unscramble them. Who, who wants to come up first to do, to do an intentional scramble of words? I'm gonna take the word gem, okay. which is um, gem, is a precious metal, a gem could be a place where you lift metal, you know? So um, if you spelled it a different way. But gem, I get gem from that, you get, I get, I, I'm gonna I'm a put rim on the, on the rim is supposed to be like your deepest, uh, your most um, sound uh, points of the, e of, of the evening when you're resting. Um, what else, what else could we get from this? I was always in somebody's comfort zone when they needed me. Yeah? Growing he, up, yeah. Yeah, so all the so all the kids would come and you know, <laughs> after they were yeah. crying would come because you <laughs> they would come right to me. in reverse. So I wanna thank you guys for doing that with me. With that being said, I'm gonna um amplify the microphone. Um and I'm gonna um Call, call his brother up. I don't know what his schedule's like. He's definitely um, a person that has 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 his plate 
um, filled with many different cool aspects of poetry, uh, leadership, uh, creativity, and, and in today's workshop at the uh, Coffee at the Dark Incredible Writers Retreat, the, 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 the genius of animation. Um, man, this creation that uh, we're about to witness is, is, is something, something that, that um, man, I'm, I'm just, I'm, su I'm surprised I don't see it on the Delft Swim at this moment. I'm, I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure, I'm sure it's coming. Um, or you can create your own Adult Swim because that's basically what um, Vision has been doing. And it's just, a, just a, an incredible series. Um, it's much more to Vision and, and, and definitely we, we wanted him here uh, to, to expound on what brought him to creating an animated series um, that is loosely based on his uh, travels um, as, as, as a poet, as a youth, as a peer, as a person who goes through life's um, different challenges and just finding the um, humor in um, things that could be considered negative. You know, this definitely needed and that's definitely something that poets and writers bring out of people is to take a twist on things and to um like as you said remembering things in different ways and putting the details on oh wow you know and bringing it back in a totally different form so here to screen the genius animated series trash to piece theater and to give you some insight on the process of the, the, the creative um aspects that led to that and just um an overview of all the creative components. We want to bring um, PYPM uh, coach, uh, creative creative poet, um, and much more. We want to bring vision to the platform. So when you create, what's the purpose of it? Like, like really getting into what you're saying. Like, um, I remember um, during the, the height of the like lockdown when when Clubhouse was popping, mm, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, um, yeah. We all, I'm on this. Um, you know, I'm trying to break into to Hollywood right now, and mm. I'm listening to like you know these different rooms with these producers and these voice acting coaches and and um, it was like some really some heavyweights of the industry in this room. I'm just soaking it yeah. up and this this one sister you know she started talking and she was like yeah it's, it's kind of, I feel like it's setting me back and so you know they were giving her advice like listen make self tapes you can do self tapes you can you know like like do TikTok it's, it's a bunch of things you can do right now to you know to continue pushing your and she was like yeah but that ain't gonna get me on TV <laughs> and I was like right now. Right. Why are you doing? Why are you doing, doing this? Are you? Right. Is this for fame? Is this? And, and again, there's no wrong answer. Yeah. yeah. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> um, but in that moment, I think she had to take a step back. It was like maybe I don't love this the way I'm trying to get mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are just trying to get on any way they can. No judgment. <laughs> That's just the way things are. Um, but why are you doing that? And when I started um, trash the piece, um, I, my, I didn't. I haven't made a single cent on YouTube. Mm. Of any of this because I want to use the music that I want to use. Yeah. I want to talk how I want to yeah. talk, yeah. and you got to play into. You got to play a game yeah. with YouTube. You got to. Yeah. Yeah. They got a bunch of things that you can't monetize with certain. So I'm like, all right, I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. I want HBO Max money. So all let me right. put out the best product possible, mm -hmm. so that I can have something when they finally come knocking. I can show you what I'm capable of. Instead of ten, some 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 months, I'd be like, I could sure use a Google AdSense check right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be questioning myself sometimes. Like, I could sure use this money right now. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of things, I've met with HBO Max. Yeah. It got me where I. It got me ex exactly what I said I wanted to do. It got me there. So we have to be very intentional with our art. Why are we doing this? And then in those moments where you're doubting yourself, remember why you're doing this. Because even as a poet, it was times where I got caught up in trying to. Like impress other poets. Right, right. I'm on tour and I'm yeah. I see somebody that I bang with. I want them to like you know validate me. And I'm like, wait a minute. I started writing for the kid on 22nd of Allegheny. I didn't write to impress you know all these other people. I don't need their validation. Yeah. Why are you writing? Why are you acting? Why are you creating music? Why are you painting like you? Van Gogh ain't see a scent, but but he's immortal. He, Van Gogh immortal. will never die. He, he will never die. Like Van Gogh, he only sold one painting for like the equivalent of. I think it may be eight hundred or eight thousand dollars, but we know his paintings are like eighty-eight million now, right. you know, and he never seen any of that money. But he created, he created, he created. So it's like getting us out of the mindset to see our own power, so we can tap into our ability to generate and project our own reality onto the world. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta keep that in mind. That's why that's why I'm like, listen, who is here is supposed to be here. I started. I have zero background in animating. 
I have no visual art skills at all. Stickmen, they even trash. I can't draw at all. But what I had was a lot of time. Um, the organization that I helped grow imploded. Um, the collective that I, w that I was in splintered. Um, me and my girlfriend at the time, we had a miscarriage. And then the month after that, she split. So it was like month, one month after the next, it was something. And I started spiraling out of control. Like, and on some straight man stuff, I'm good, I'm good, now I'm good, I'm good, I got this, I got this. People trying to reach out. Like half the, half the people I thought were friends kind of was like, look, I ain't signed up for this. The other half was trying to reach out and I was pushing them away. Um, and to my pop, God, no, my pop is just the greatest. He was like, he really was like, yo, break your lease. You withering away in this apartment. Fit whatever you can fit from your apartment into the back of this Tahoe, you moving back in with me. Cause I gotta keep eyes on you. He knew his son was about to go to a really bad place. So he lives way up in the Northeast, like a block away from like Ben Sale and like this. No, I ain't have a car, I ain't had nothing, I was stuck. But it was exactly where I needed to be. And during this time, I started, um, like, with all the time I had, I started like telling stories on Instagram. Like literally on the stories, like, like, like on the slide stories, I was just typing out these stories. And the first story, I was, I was like, hey, listen, I, got the, I, I had the stalker back in the day, well, she actually technically still stalking me. <laughs> um, <laughs> since the MySpace days, she's technically still my stalker. Um, and they were like, wait, what? So I like typed it out. And it, it took me like an hour and a half to type this drawing out, slide by slide. And at the end, I was like, that's not the only one who, who did that. And they like, we gotta tell that one. I was tired, so I'm like, I tell the next Saturday. I told another story the next Saturday at noon. The following week, I told another story. So every, like, it, it became a thing where every Saturday at noon, for 50 weeks in a row, I told a story on Instagram story, Saturdays at noon. By that time, I had a car, and I was trying, I was digging myself out of this hole. It was the only thing that was giving me purpose. It was literally the only thing that was giving me purpose. I was up, I was at my pop's house, um, training, like, uh, uh, like educating myself to be, to get my, um, to be able to teach overseas. It's called a TEFL, um, a TEFL cert a certificate, T-E-F-L. I was trying, I was like, you know, training to get my TEFL. I was like, I'm just trying to get the hell out of Philly. I'm trying to get the hell out of the States. I'm just running, just running away from my problems. Um, I had a job lined up, two. One was in Shanghai, the other one was in Wuhan, where COVID started. COVID hits. That's done. But at that point, I knew I was on to something. And my friend, um, Donnie, Donnie Jackson, he's an he's a amazing poet, but he's also a producer, um, an Emmy Award winning producer. He's like, yo, you're on to something. Like, we were going to do a live action. Since Hollywood shut down, I'm like, I, something, something different got to happen. I'm going to teach myself how to animate. With no money and two broken laptops, like, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah. I, I got a Free trials. I, 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 and I, I like I, um, research like every animation thing possible that I could like mess around with. 30 day free trial, 30 day free trial, 30 day free trial, just trying to teach myself how to do something. I didn't go to school for script writing. I didn't go to school for animation, obviously. Um, and even with this, like I, didn't go, I clearly didn't go to school for sound. Um, when I, but this drawing, this drawing was recorded in a, um, in a Beats headphones microphone cable. Cause I was broken, I ain't had no microphone. Like everything, I literally was building the plane as I flew it. And I think that's the one, if, if, you know, if you don't take anything else from me today, take, do it. The idea you have in your head, do it. The thing that you're like scared to do or you don't think you're ready to do, do it anyway. <laughs> and build the plane as you fly it because I was never gonna be good enough to be an animator because I'm not an animator. I just taught myself how to be able to be functional to tell the stories. The animation is cool, but it's all about the story. I can have the flyest animation ever, but it ain't gonna matter if the story don't connect. If it doesn't grab you, it's not gonna matter. So that thing you're afraid of, do it anyway. And again, I, I referenced Donnie Jackson. Donnie said, um, when I came to Donnie, I was like, listen, I know we're we, we gonna try to hash, we're gonna try to flesh this out um, as like, you know, real world, um, live action rather. And uh, I was like, I think I'm gonna try this animation. He was like, I was like, what you think? I was like, do it. And if it don't work, don't do it again. And I was like, that really, that simple thing, another thing that just changed my life, if it don't work, don't do it again. 
do it. You got something in your mind that you question. You have an idea that you're, I think this is going to be dope, but I don't know. And somebody might be better than it. Do it and get better. <laughs> do it, be trash, get better. Don't be, afraid to, don't be afraid to be bad at what you're doing. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to flop. Don't be afraid for nobody to, like, to feel it. I was 24 episodes in on Trash the Peace before my first drone went viral. 24 episodes in. Then I was like, I can't, I ain't gonna upload this week. And then you have nothing to do with the product. It had to do with like, when are you uploading? All right, you know what? Saturdays at noon ain't really good for uploading videos. When I switched it to Sundays at six, I got more traction. When I switched the, um, the little thumbnails, I got more traction. And then like Melissa Ford seen it and, and, and shared it randomly. Like, huh? Mm -hmm. Tiffany Haddish and then Qu Quest Love. It's like, it, it's, it's not about your product. It's about just, number one, having the perseverance, and two, the right timing. So it's dope, but you might have the best poems, and you know you dope. You might have the best project, the best content, but you just gotta be, you gotta like really take your time, and the right person gotta like see it, and that's what I'm struggling with now, trying to like, I'm on Hollywood's porch. And people walking by like, what's up, Viz? And they going in and they ain't let me in yet. Hey, you on the porch. But I'm on the porch. <laughs> I'm on the porch. I'm going to say, what are y'all going to let me in this door? <laughs> um, so it's about timing. And I'm, and I'm learning, I'm relearning that now. Like, yo, the timing isn't right. The timing isn't right. So I'm relearning that. Again, a shout out to Kavi and Rhythm and a bunch of poets on the scene really ra like, rallied around me. A bunch I ain't talked to since. People that I, that I, was, that was, I thought was my, my squad. But the Denise Frohmans of the world, the kind of, like they was there, like making sure mm. I was good. Um, but who else was there? My niggas from the block. <laughs> the day ones, the goons, the, the ones who was away for, t for 10, 15 years and just got home was like, yo, I heard you good. People from in jail, in the feds was hitting me up like, yo, I heard like, yo, you good, keep your head up. And I'm like, wait a minute. You ain't never coming home telling me to keep my head up? I got I to gotta figure out a way out of this. You know what I mean? So, um, again, not having any, any, um, any, what's the name, like any background in this, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about screenwriting or filmmaking or any of this. Somebody was like, hey, listen, there's this thing coming up called the American Black Film Festival. It's being held on online this year because it's, um, you know, COVID. Um, they were like, there's a, there's a category for short web series I think you should enter. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'll enter. So I threw my hat in the ring and I got selected. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. They, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm officially a fill. I got the little, um, the little things around the, the, the official selection with the little, with the little uh, leaves around it. Couldn't tell me shit. You couldn't tell me. They little, they couldn't tell me nothing. So this is the joint that I, um, that I screened at the American Black Film Festival uh, Comedy Festival, um, 2021. And again.
initial plan was simple. I was going to go run to the Peace, good people. I want to thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I post. And until next time, y'all, peace. Thank you.